guys, welcome back. Today we are going to clean a barbecue that was absolutely filthy that we got off a of marketplace and made it brand spanking new. So I wanna show you the whole entire process on how we got it done. First off, I'll show you the products that we used. So really simple actually, we didn't use that many products to clean it. We used Dawn Power Wash and then we used the Wyman Stainless Steel Cleaner on the exterior of it. Some dish pods, these are Cascade Platinum Plus. They work really, really good to like cut grease. Then we just have some olive oil or like cooking spray, SOS pad. The spoon is just to like scoop out the ashes and you should wear rubber, rubber gloves when you clean this. For everyday maintenance, you need some good tools to keep your barbecue clean. And this is a bristleless barbecue brush. And so we've all seen like a bristle barbecue brush. And if you haven't seen on the news, sometimes those little wire bristles can break off and like end up in your chicken when you're eating it. So that's not great. And in your belly at the end of the day. So most people have switched over to these bristleless one. I have this one at home. It works really, really good. And I've had it for about two summers and it still looks exactly like this. And then there's these wood ones, which are great too. It's just like a cedar plank. And then you scrape your barbecue with it. First things first, we want to get any like debris or cooked on chunky food that's left over and scrape it off so it all falls down to the bottom. See how rusty it is in here, see? We're gonna get that rust off. Now what we want to do is break down the barbecue and remove all of the grills and like, the so the grill comes off, all of them come out. And then look at these, these are the flame covers and they get really dirty and filthy, but they lift off. And you can actually replace these for really cheap on Amazon. I can put a link in the description for you. There's like universal ones if you don't wanna deal with the dirtiness of them, but we'll see how clean we can get these ones. See? And then there's usually a whole bunch of ash at the bottom, which, there we go. I filled this bucket up with really, really hot water and I'm going to soak the grills in it with a couple of Cascade dishwasher pods. Um, you can do this in your sink, but lots of sinks aren't big enough to do it, so it's good to just use a Rubbermaid. Do not do it in your bathtub. Because you will scratch, scratch it. I was gonna swear, but I didn't, so. Okay, this one fits perfect. You might have to just kind of move them around. Oh my gosh, look at this disgusting <gasps> water already instant we're gonna have to just dump this out after and start again starting over with some fresh water here so you can tell immediately i got a lot of that gunk off just by dumping out the water so what we're gonna do first just to get rid of like the worst of it is i'm gonna drop in i'm using cascade uh, platinum plus dish pods here and i'm just gonna drop like four of them and let these soak for an hour you can let them soak overnight two hours, it really depends on how bad it is. They're gonna like dissolve in here. We use these for soaking oven racks, so I know it's gonna work for work for, well, it should work, but we might have to bring in some heavy hitters because there is some rust on these grills that are on the bottom. I might wanna use some iron out on that if this doesn't get it off. Or our barkeeper's friend is really, really good for, like it's a little bit less of a harsher rust remover. It works good in toilets and stuff like that. Or counters. You can also use Dawn Power Wash on your grills, especially if they're the metal ones. So you just spray them down and then let them sit. This stuff is amazing at like lifting. This one didn't fit in my bucket, so I'm gonna use Dawn Power Wash on it. I'm also gonna use Dawn Power Wash on the interior of the barbecue. And just let that sit and then you'll immediately see it starting to lift. While the grills are soaking, I'm just gonna start cleaning the inside of the barbecue. So first things first, I just have a dry scrub brush. This isn't wet. And I just want to scrub like the outside edges and everything to loosen anything that's stuck on here before I start scooping out the ashes from the bottom. Now I've got my handy dandy spoon and I'm going to scoop out the ashes and just chuck them away. You, if you have a shop vac, you can shop vac this out, but do not use like your little vacuum. Your vacuum can suck this up. It will totally fry it. It's like fry, it's like vacuuming up drywall dust. So a spoon is the easiest way if you don't have a shop vac. Ooh, is that going down somewhere? There's got it, there's a tray underneath you guys. We gotta get the tray. So underneath the barbecue, there's going to be, and each barbecue is going to be slightly different, but there's gonna be a little grease trap, which was where my ashes were all going when I was scooping, and it's gonna be full of grease. 
and now ashes. Look at that. <coughs> so I've emptied the grease out and like, just make sure that you dispose of your grease properly. I just scooped it out because it was kind of hardened and gunky and with some paper towel, don't put that down your sink because it will clog your drain. Handy dandy Dawn power wash. Just gonna spray it to lift all of that grease and burnt on crud. Let it sit. We moved the barbecue down here because we're gonna start spraying it off and we have like some gravel for it to run off so it wasn't gonna hit the rug on the patio. Also important to note, we've disconnected the propane. So now all we're gonna do is spray it with some Dawn power wash and get scrubbing. Then we're gonna power wash it off. It's a little windy. <laughs> okay, stop. I'm gonna scrub like the greasy, really dirty spots and then we're gonna hose it off. So, but I wanna get, just to like loosen some of this really bad buildup. So, right here. Look at that. See how, look how fast that's coming. This is Dawn, just Dawn Power. Like look at the difference. I'm gonna spray down the outside of it too, just to cut some of the grease and the gr grime on it before we uh, hold it off. Now for the fun part, pressure washing. Okay. Ready? Normally my go-to is just to spray down the barbecue and like scrub it and then rinse it off with the hose. And I've always had people tell me like, you should just pressure wash it off. This is a game changer, okay? I've always scrubbed barbecues, but this is blowing my mind. Like look at where I've sprayed the Dawn Power Wash and then just press pressure wash it off without any scrubbing. And then even some of these areas that have just like completely softened because I've sprayed it and let it sit. So I'm gonna spray it one more time. I've already kind of sprayed a few spots. I'm gonna spray it and like let it sit a little bit longer scrub a couple of the really dirty spots, like that's really dirty, just to loosen it, and then we'll pressure wash it off again. I can't believe how good this is working. I'm done with the inside of the barbecue. It is a million times better than when we started, but a lot of this is like rusted and corroded. It still is gonna work perfectly fine, but it's just clean now. So we've got as much as we possibly really can off. If it won't come off with a pressure washer, I've scrubbed a couple spots here and there with like an SOS pad, but this is the inside of it. The girls are gonna be spotless when we put them back. Now I wanna pressure wash the outside and get it really nice and clean. We're back inside. We've let the grills soak in the dish pods and everything's come off of them except for we kind of have like some rust build up here and I'm gonna try using iron out on it to get it off. Um, this basically lifts iron and rust right away immediately. So if it comes off, it's gonna come off. If it doesn't come off, then we just know that they're, that's as good as it's gonna get. Here goes nothing. Oh, I can already smell it. It smells like rotten eggs when you use this. Just when it like reacts with the iron. Just let it soak for a bit. It's a lot. We've got most of the grill pieces clean. Look how good this top grill came. Like it's like sparkling clean. And this was the grease trap. Look at it. it looks really good. It's like shiny as heck. Is there a re reflection in it probably? <laughs> and then these are the flame covers, which didn't really come clean. They're pretty rusted. So we actually have a solution for these. You can get universal ones that are brand new off of Amazon. Look, they like see how we've adjusted them so they fit in the barbecue and then you just slide them. So they fit almost every single 
grill. So I'll put the link in the description for you. And we only need three of those. So these are gonna get chucked sometimes. Yes, we can keep your help. We, so yes, sometimes we can fix things, not all the time. I've scrubbed these grills really, really well. We got most of the rust off, okay? We're gonna put them back on the grill and then we're going to season them. But look how clean they came. They're just like absolutely spotless, but we still wanna season them with some oil, but I'm gonna wait till we get outside to do that so I don't get like oil all over the counter. It's better to do it on the grill. It's really windy out here, so I hope you can hear me. These are the new flame covers that we got from Amazon and look how easy they just get put in. So you put in, so you just adjust them to the height of your grill, they're adjustable, universal, and then you balance them on that and then everything looks brand spanking new. This is my favorite thing that I cleaned for the whole entire day because it came, it was so satisfying. It's like a mirror now. I got everything out except for this little tiny like burn mark, but that's it. Now make sure you put this back because you're not gonna, if you forget to put it back, you're not gonna have something to catch your drip, your grease and your ashes. After you clean your grills, you need to season them. So you just can use like any food grade oil, olive oil, whatever, and then just rub it on the grill so that they're not dried out. Final step for to make the barbecue like look brand new on the outside, on the exterior is I'm gonna use some Wyman stainless steel cleaner. And I'm, it's pretty windy out here, so I'm just gonna like spray it directly onto my paper towel and then apply it. But look how, I knew this was gonna be so satisfying. Wyman's is really good at removing like uh, fingerprints, but also heat transfer stains, drips, all of that stuff. It just really conditions the steel. And you, if you have streaks or anything, don't overdo it. Just wipe with the grain of the steel, uh, which is usually east to west. If you look really close here, how it goes back and forth, east to west. And then just let it dry. Try not to get any Wyman's on this like little thermometer thing because it's greasy. So then you're like, you could Windex that at the end. But if you get Wyman's on it, it's gonna be all oily, foggy looking, streaky. Oh my God. Like, look at that. So remember I've power washed this completely, but you can't just come in and spray Wyman stainless steel on like a dirty uh, barbecue because the dirt will just get like sealed right in. This is kind of rusted, so we're just gonna try to make it look good with this. And it usually just steel rust because it gets like dried out and usually water on it. A combination of more than one thing. I actually don't know if that's actually true. <laughs> it is, I think. Wet, right? Chemical. <laughs> like my screwdriver in my caddy is all rusted and it's from being around the chemicals from the cleaning surprise. All right, we've got this barbecue spick and span. It's brand new looking again. Like I'm so impressed with how clean it came. And just a reminder for like your maintenance in between, each time you grill or barbecue, you want to turn the barbecue, once you're done cooking, obviously, you're gonna turn the barbecue on high and then shut the lid and just let it like cook off all of that dirt. Then take your handy dandy scraper and scrape away any extra debris. That's gonna keep your barbecue super duper clean all season long. If you liked this video, don't forget to like this video. And if you want us to clean anything else that's like outdoorsy, let us know in the comments and we'll put it on the list.